welcome back to another riveting episode of Audits of Fraudit. In today's episode, we go to the Beaverton Police Department in Beaverton, Oregon, and then to the Beaverton City Hall, where Bay Area Transparency, also known as BAT, goes to be creepy and rude to as many people as he can. In other words, it's a typical Frauditor day. He starts the video with the usual boring banter of what the video is about. I decided that Alvin the Chipmunk sounds much better than he does, and I removed the boring video that he had attached to the banter and added different boring video because I felt it was an improvement. So now let's hear from the Batty Buffoon. For this video, we're in the city of Beaverton, Oregon. We were out in Oregon when I took this video. As you guys know, I just got back from an Oregon trip. I was arrested out there. Blah, 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 blah. This video is taken in Beaverton, Oregon. We went ahead and went to the police department. Had some interactions with a police officer who felt like he should follow me around forever for some reason. Then we went to the city hall and had a crazy interaction with a security guard that you guys are going to see. It's off the hook. Um, there's a little racism in this video. All kinds of stuff, man. I don't understand it. You guys watch. Tell me what you think. Be sure to hit that like button for me. My videos aren't getting enough likes, Bay fam. We're getting hundred thousands of views and we don't have a hundred thousand likes. Can I get fifty thousand likes? I've been hitting fifteen and twenty thousand likes. Can we get fifty? I need fifty thousand likes on this video, Bay fam. Just a hunch here, but maybe if your content was good, you'd get more likes and you could stop e-begging for likes. I'm worried that this stupidity is going to poop its way offline too. One day, I would not be surprised to be driving down the road and see a homeless-looking person with a sign like this. Please, stop the insanity. Just make better content. Thank you. Officers. So they have a sign up here that says do not enter police area, but like it's not really clear what they're talking about. Someone Please, any, can anyone tell me what is not clear about this sign? What part of the sign is unclear? The restricted area part, the police only part, or the do not enter part? One of the very few good things about frauditors is that you could be dumb as a rock, but still be smarter than a frauditor. Um, do not enter where? It's obvious behind the gate, but you know, it leaves it up for for interpretation which is never good um because a, a lot of the times they'll just interpret it as anywhere i see you know what i mean i'm sorry to interrupt again but come on are you hearing this crap it's obvious for behind the gate but then he says it leaves it up for interpretation what interpretation could you get other than restricted area police only and do not enter Okay, I'm going to need to put on my chilly Fortiter glasses to see this through a Fortiter's eyes to try to figure this out. Hold on. Okay, ah, uh, now I get it. It means only a restricted area if it doesn't hurt your feelings, okay? And the police only means, again, only if it doesn't hurt your feelings. And let's see. Oh, yes, do not enter means... Do not enter... Nope, not getting it for this one. Hmm. I'll have to ponder it some more. Maybe I need stronger chili fortiter glasses. Uh, hey, how's it going, bud? I'm all right. How about you? Not bad. Awesome. What you up to today? Hanging out. How about you? Uh, going to be on YouTube? What was that? Am I going to be on YouTube? I don't do YouTube. Uh, okay. Why the fuck you lying? Why? Why you always lying? What's this for? Just let you know, I'm to you. It's something I'm doing. Okay. What's up? Uh, something I'm doing. Alright. I just go off this. Cool. I do legal. I'm just curious, man. Cool. Alright. What's, uh, I think it's a sticker bush over there. That is a fancy selfie stick, man. 
What kind is that? I've never even seen that. It's a pretty good one. What is it? Uh, I don't know exactly. You don't know, man. That thing looks like it costs a pretty penny. So where can I see your video? Anywhere? Anywhere you want to share? No. No? Do you have a name that you'd like to share? No. No? You gonna put me online? Maybe. This selfie stick is much bigger than yours. Goddamn. This way. And we go right here. I'm not standing in the freaking bushes. Yeah, some dummy taking a picture of me. Alright Bay fam, let's go ahead and stop that right there real quick. I talk about this in many videos, that police officers are not supposed to just walk up and take pictures of citizens for any reason unless they have reasonable suspicion the person is engaged in criminal activity or something like that. So let's go ahead and read from the Beaverton police policy. I've also read this from many other police policies, but let's read it from Beaverton. He had no reason to believe that I was engaged in any criminal conduct, yet they wanted to take pictures of me so that they can send them around in their department about what I'm doing. This officer needs to answer for this. No, don't bother to read it for us, please. I know you have to for your viewers, but my viewers can read. And it's obvious that this forwarder has his chilly forwarder glasses on because he reads this as officers can't take pictures of citizens unless they have reasonable suspicion of a crime. However, in the real world, it says nothing about officers taking pictures, but using them or retaining them unless there is suspicion of a crime. Furthermore, standing outside a police station, filming through a gate, and even reaching the camera over the gate, which is a restricted area, all while refusing to say much, is suspicious. So even if we used your Fortiter logic, the officer still had every right to film you. Now I know Fortiters hate cambacks, but you're going to have to accept them if you refuse to leave the dark side and remain a Fortiter. Should we start a GoFundMe page for your pain and suffering, or will the usual e-begging suffice? Can I help you? Hey! Hey! How you doing? This woman yelled really loudly because you're acting creepy and suspicious, especially when you refuse to answer her the first time she tried to politely ask if she could help you. Well, at least you admit that acting like a piece of shit is your natural reaction. You good? Are you good? Everything good? What are you doing? Are you doing? Can I help you? No? So you often get yelled at when you're acting creepy and don't respond, and you actually seem surprised by this. So instead of being a rational human being, you go the frauditor route and keep yelling just to be a jerk. Yeah, classic indeed. Look, I got this guy, he's following me all across the, uh, he's following me. Get away. Oh, I'll keep going. Damn it. Okay. 
Was it? Did you just say he messed your shot up? Let's take a look at your shot after the vehicle drives by. Wow, fascinating. You should consider this for your next lawsuit. What a travesty. We got security staff talking to people in. This guy's saying no. I can't see what the fuck he's doing. What was that? Why is that? Uh, because we don't like our pictures being taken. You don't like your pictures being taken? Yeah. This is just City Hall, right? Yes, it is. I should be able to take pictures here. Well, once you come inside, you can come inside. You won't be taking pictures. Why is, why is that? Because it's a, it's, a court, it's a court law. It's a what? You have to have 24 hours in the desk. Prior notice from the judge. You have to write to them be shooting pictures inside the court. You said there's a city hall, right? Yes, but you cannot shoot pictures inside the court. I what what you. court? There's a court in city hall? There's two courts in here. Okay, well, I'm not in there. I'm well, out here. Just in case, don't take pictures of us. I'm, ta I'm recording right now. Well, I've been fine. recording the whole time. I'm going to continue to take pictures. Us. Yeah, I do. No, you don't. Why don't I? No, you don't. Why, why is that? <laughs> you have anybody you want come talk to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'll I'll move around wherever I want. <laughs> Holy cow! Can taking pictures outside. These people are freaking the hell out. Oh, you are such a rebel, slapping your camera against the window in defiance. One day, when all this is said and done, and foreigners have fully protected our First Amendment rights and don't need to do this crap anymore, your face will proudly be displayed in all the history books of what not to do to fight for anyone's rights. He's going to do a cam back, I guarantee it. <laughs> See, I knew it. <laughs> I can take your picture. Make sure the cops get you uh, your identity too. Good luck with that, babe. Oh, well, you don't know who I am. I don't care who you are. You don't. You don't, care who you are. You don't know who I am, oh, stud. You <laughs> You're nothing. You're nothing. You're nothing. Peon. You're crazy. I know you are, but what am I? You're a nerd. I know you are, but what am I? You're an idiot. I know you are, but what am I? I know you, you are, are, but what am I? Ten dollar an hour security oh, guard. <laughs> I'm a what? I'm not just a ten dollar security guard. I'm an expert in marine, man. Oh, well, why are you alive? Why are you good? Good I'll luck, you man. Alive. <laughs> good, but good luck with that. You're a punk. Yeah, likewise. You're a punk. Likewise. Why don't you go home and go sleep with your mom? Just a little weirdo. Go home and sleep with your mom. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not even gonna engage with that, but <laughs> look at this dude, a straight clown. You're a moron. Uh huh. I, I agree. Look at you. What you are. Low life son of a bitch, huh? You are. Look at you. Get out of my face. I ain't in your face. You better get out I'm, of my face. I'm, I'm feet away. Face. You understand? I'm feet away. I'm feet away. And if I was in your space, what? You better get out of my face. I ain't in your face. You're close I'm, enough. I'm, I'm more than arm length away. You better stay an arm length away. Yeah, or what? You'll find out. Or what? You'll find out. <laughs> this dude's... <laughs> Wild. Keep smoking crack, bud. Stay off that crack. Little bitch, huh? <laughs> oh, shit. Find a new job, stud. Maybe you should get a job before telling anyone else to find a job. Wait, I take that back. I don't mean maybe. Oh, and I said the J O B word. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt you. I got a job. Yeah, not no I more. I got several. Not no more. Really? <laughs> oh, really? <yeah>. Really? <laughs> uh -huh. Look at him. Straight clown. You're a clown. And say nothing to you. Take it back. You're take it. Take it. Take it back on. Trash. Take it back on. That's all you are. Take it back on. Skin color don't mean shit. You're take a it. White trailer trash. Take it back on. Jack it's all good. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna go make a couple phone calls. You huh? go. You go make a couple <laughs> phone calls. I will. I'll make a couple Don't of worry. phone calls. To do what? Your friends can meet my friends. Oh, more threats, huh? No. Nope. <laughs>
I don't know what this threat means, but this is definitely a threat put in writing. More than likely, as foreigners are the biggest cowards there are, threat is just a few people calling from their couch to file a complaint. However, some of the foreigners and their viewers are criminals and have the potential to do real harm, so I'm just putting this out there. Your friends are getting tore up, stud. Little clown. Shit. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Well, this guy's not a, a security guard here no more. I'll tell you that much. Not after that. I didn't say nothing to him. Mad as hell. He called the police and the police told him there's nothing we can do. And he's mad as hell. Oh, please, you have no idea who he called or if he called anyone. But a predator always has to make up stuff to make themselves feel tough. So, okay, the man is terrified. He called the police, but the police said their predators are always right and not to mess with them. So now the man is angry and scared. Are your little widow predator feelings feeling better now? Well, another predator video bites the dust. I cut out so much stupidity and dead air from this video. This predator should be thanking his viewers that do like his video and thanking God that people even watch it instead of e-begging full likes. It's like a child saying, like me, please like me. So before I go, here is something special for the forder to use to make his feelings less hurt. I deserve good things. I am entitled to my share of happiness. I refuse to beat myself up. I am an attractive person. I am fun to be with. Well, thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, Please subscribe to make sure you get notified of when more riveting episodes are published. Have a great day and night.